Welcome back. We're live on three, and it's time for Win a Home on Afternoon Express, where we follow three talented young designers as they transform three empty properties of Valdivia Estate into dream homes using finishes provided by Caesar Stone and Plascon. Now, one of the challenges our designers were given is to incorporate the use of Caesar Stone into their designs. Well, Joanet took up the challenge while creating a unique bespoke base and vanity with the help from Cape Town based design furniture design studio. Crib Creations. I was looking around at basins and I couldn't find anything that I really liked that you could buy off of the floor or somewhere in shops. So I've always wanted to design my own bespoke pieces and when this opportunity came along I um, designed this beautiful concrete looking basin that's very modern and angular. I've always wanted to design a vanity like this because I haven't seen anything like it in South Africa. I think it's quite trending in, in the rest of the world. So this was my chance to make it happen and see it in real life. I chose Caesar Stone because it's durable and waterproof. It can be made into any form. So in this particular instance, we use the 13 millimeters because it can be cut into my specific dimensions that I designed for this vanity. Jone uh, came to us with the idea for some lovely Caesar stone basins and she asked us to design a vanity that would complement that. Um, she provided some lovely references with uh, oak veneer panels which we incorporated into the drawer front design. Jone has been great. Um, she's very open to all the suggestions that we've had for her. She was uh, able to provide us with some excellent reference material so you know that made our job very easy. There's a level of, of in openness to innovation there rather I should say. Um, you know there's a willingness to embrace new ideas and, and uh, innovative construction construction techniques and, and uh, newer materials that you know an older, more established designer might shy away from. I chose to collaborate with Crip Creations because they responded to me on a Facebook page. I was looking for someone to work with on a vanity and they messaged me and asked me what my specifics were. And I sent them my designs, they really loved it. So they came up with a beautiful oak vanity underneath my basin. We're a young creative bunch here, so we, we enjoy taking risks and taking on things that others might not. We enjoy working with combinations of different materials, uh, taking advantage of, of the unique characteristics of each material and, and really letting them shine. It's really interesting being a local designer. I think there's a lot of opportunity out there. Cape Town is quite a creative hub since the design capital 2014. There's been a lot of a lot of buzz around, especially locally produced stuff. There's a lot of interesting work available out there for you know people willing to, to put themselves out there. Crip Creations are local designers that have international quality. They are, they are quick and responsive and they have, they have made beautiful designs throughout South Africa. Shone approached us with the idea for some lovely Caesar stone basins um, and provided some references for us to design a vanity that would complement it. Uh, we used oak veneer on the drawer fronts and a lovely uh, folk stone grey melamine internals uh, to match the, the grey basins to create a harmonious look that I hope Shone will be happy with. I feel very excited uh, that, I, that I designed it and it's there. It was my first time attempting something like this and I think it looks amazing. Well, it just goes to show that a beautiful bathroom can really add some, so much to a property. How much can it truly add from a saleability perspective? Danilo is on the couch to tell us. Selling a home means taking a whole range of different factors into consideration, from the additional room to uh, knowing how to style the pictures you use when selling online, making it presentable and purchase ready. Our Winner Home contestants are currently working on the bathroom in their beautiful apartments on Val This is a room in the house that can so easily go wrong, and the first thing people want to change about a house when they go and buy a new one. This afternoon, we have Winner Home judge and CEO of private property, Simon Bray, in the loft to tell us how to approach selling a home and specifically the bathroom. And I'm pretty sure that hope everyone's an expert on the bathroom because we spend a lot of time there. But uh, <laughs> when I was initially looking out at the property scene and went to go and visit all the properties as you went along, one of the first things I loved going to go do was check out the bathroom because it is such a versatile space and it's exciting because you always want a bathroom that's so unique. Why do people do that? You know, on private property, the bathroom is one of the you know, most observed rooms in the house. When you look at uh, the galleries mm. and, and what people view and what they spend their time looking at, the bathrooms are always the most interesting piece. And I think, I mean, it makes sense. Mm. The, the best way to gauge the condition of a home is often through the bathroom. You know, the mm. fixtures, the fittings, the design. Uh, you can get a sense really quickly on whether this is a well-kept home or a mm. you know, poorly kept home. So I think a lot of people build an impression or build an idea of, of condition of the rest of the home 
based on the, the grime between the tiles in the bathroom. Yes. And so a lot of people don't spend enough time preparing the bathroom space, particularly when they're going to sell. Mm. But I think another reason is, is fairly obvious. You know, you walk into a lounge, you walk into a dining room, and you can imagine your own furniture in that space. Yes. You can move things around, mm. you can put a new painting on the wall, you can do something different. But when it comes to the bathroom, it's all fixtures. So unless you like what's been done, you're going to have to gut it and redo it, and that it's can expensive. be a costly exercise. Yeah. yeah, And also, it's one of those spaces that you want to be kind of creative. You want to feel like your bathroom is so unique when guests come over, or it is your bathroom potentially. You want to make sure that it's a space that's exciting and creative to be in. So you mentioned this idea of selling that bathroom. Yeah. Um, how do we go about making sure that our bathroom is ready to sell? And what are some of the mistakes that people make when doing that? Oh, there's some tremendous mistakes people make when they come to selling their property. Uh, some of the worst photos we've ever had on private property. If we had a wall of shame, it would be <laughs> bathroom pictures. Okay. You know. yeah. Simple things like not putting the toilet seat down when they take yeah. a photo Oof. of the bathroom. It's those kinds of you know, tacky mistakes mm. to really bad ones, like uh, not making sure that it's a clean space. I think that's one of the things. It's a little bit like... Uh, uh, a hotel room. What are the two things you're going to look for? Clean sheets and fresh towels mm -hmm. and you know, good smell in the bathroom. And I think that's important when you're talking about the bathroom is it should be really clean, clean, clean. Ah. So spend the time making it look, doesn't matter what the fixtures and the fittings are doing, just make sure it's all spick and span. Sure. Okay, that's really good advice. I think one of the things our contestants are looking at at the moment is, is the bathroom obviously and they're wanting to get all the elements put together because not in any gross way, but the bathroom must be tranquil. It must be a space that you feel comfortable in. It must be functional too, so obviously you don't want any leaks coming out or weird yep. designs that has water running into funny places. And it must be beautifully designed too. What advice do you have for our design contestants who are busy working on them now uh, to make sure that the bathroom is all three of those? Well, this is, this is really an exercise in, in form follows function. The uh -huh. bathroom, first and foremost, has to be a functional space. You've got to understand what the daily routine is going to be like. Uh, do you need two vanities? Uh, do you need a uh, walk-in shower? Mm -hmm. uh, is a bath something that you're going to need in this bathroom? So just figure out that daily routine. Uh, make sure that uh, everything is placed in the right places. Uh, you spoke about it being a retreat, a sanctuary, yes. so, you know, a personal space. And I think the design is going to have to communicate that. Uh, it's going to have to feel inviting. Mm -hmm. It's going to have to feel... Uh, like a comfortable yeah. space to be in. <laughs> but uh, but it's also... going to be a stressful experience being in there, okay? <laughs> you want it as comfortable as possible. Yeah, no, I won't get into the details of that. <laughs> but, but of course, you know, you want to walk in there and you want to feel like uh, it's a great space to be in. Yeah. Um, and a lot of that has to do with where everything is laid out mm. and the, f the way the finishes interact with one another. So yeah. it's going to be an interesting challenge. I don't think a bathroom is, is uh, as we started off saying in this interview, a, a space that should be overlooked. Definitely I think not. definitely something that they should spend mm. time on and understand perfectly. Yeah, I hope everyone at home is watching very, very closely because I'm so excited to have you here. You mentioned a few things about investments and buying houses and selling property that has been absolutely uh, like pivotal to what people should be looking forward to when they're selling a house. And last time we spoke, you were mentioning the idea of adding an extra room to the house, like yeah. really increasing the chances of a property being sold. Um, but what about a second bathroom or a two and a half bathrooms? Uh, how does that affect the sale of a property? Is it, does it make it more investment ready? You know, the, the interesting thing with a bathroom is it is a very private space, right? Yeah. Uh, so if you've got a home that you intend entertaining in a lot, then you have to think about this idea of a guest loo mm. uh, or that half a bathroom that yes. we see on the, on the website. You know, two and a half bathrooms. I don't so what does that mean? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but absolutely, uh, a guest bathroom in particular can elevate the value of a property because yeah. your guests feel like it's a private space for them. Uh, and I think that that can be very important when you're looking at it. It's not traipsing your guests through your master suite to your bathroom, mm. uh, but having a personal space for them as well. So yeah, that can sure. certainly add value. I've been to people's houses where there is no guest bathroom and you sometimes have to walk into the master bathroom. It feels bathroom a bit awkward, like, oh, doesn't it? Like, yeah. oh, this like, is ooh. your soap. This is just move your toothbrush. <laughs> yeah, uh, across yeah, slightly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but when it comes to maybe building a new home or you're setting yourself up for, for a new property, I mean, how much of a bathroom should you keep in mind? Because First of all, cost is really expensive. It's, it's, it costs a lot of money to build a house. And maybe you're thinking future value when you're wanting to sell the property. Does keeping bathrooms in consideration and in your back of your mind add enough value to a property for the future value of its sale? Yeah, well, if you think about it, most people move on uh, in a property between five and seven years. So oh. you're going to look to put your property on the market 
uh, even though you don't think so. You know, you move in, you're in love, yeah. this is the best property ever, we're going to stay yeah. here forever. <laughs> but the truth is, seven years' time, you're yeah. going to be looking for a new property. So if you do upgrade the bathrooms and you're looking to do something, uh, a great renovation or something, you need to think about what it's going to look like in five to seven years' time. So pick quality finishes, finishes that are going to last, yeah. uh, taps, showers, baths that are going to last, uh, and have a timeless element to the design. Don't just jump on the latest trend yes. and then you regret it three years from now and you're but, doing it all over again. Yeah, like where your bathroom and your shower have no different walls or doors <laughs> yes. in between them and you think, oh, this is a great <laughs> idea and then you realize what happens in, in that room. Simon, it's always an honor speaking to you and I really enjoy taking all the pearls of wisdom when it comes to selling a property. It's made me kind of nervous. <laughs> I think the contestants are going to have to be uh, very aware of this challenge. Yeah. I think a big difference between the apartments is going to be how these bathrooms turn out. So I'm looking exactly. forward to it. Thanks so much, Simon. So don't underestimate the power of a beautiful bathroom when it comes to selling your home. Head over to privateproperty.co.za where you will find the perfect home in the neighborhood that you love. While logging on, why not enter the Winner Home competition and stand a chance to win a home on Volda V. Now remember that this week on privateproperty.co.za we want to know what is your favorite design contestant's bathroom. By casting your vote, you stand a chance of winning paint from Plascon to the value of 5,000 Rand. You'll also automatically be placed into the grand prize draw where you could one of those, win one of those completed apartments at Val de Vie worth more than 3 million Rand. Winner Home is proudly brought to you by Private Property in association with NetBank. We'll be right back after this.